So the method I'm using here is the most basic way of um, building rows and access control in Laravel and in fact in any website at all. This system will work for any application you're building. But uh, there are many other ways to do that. There are even packages that will help you. If you Google Laravel packages for access control, you'll see a, a number of them. So uh, let me just quick uh, do a quick recap of what we have and how we did it. We have a database called pmanager, then we have roles table, we have users table. Inside users table, we have role ID. So each user has a role ID. So if we get back here, we'll see that each user has a role ID and that role ID is an integer. And then by default, we set the role ID to be three. You will see why we did that. So now in each role, in the roles table, we just have uh, basically two fields and uh, of course the time and it was created. So the field is just the name of the the table and the ID, the name of the role and the ID. So we decided to create three roles. The first one we created was the admin, had moderators, we have users, and of course, you can create an endless number of roles. So see these roles as having different permission levels, levels in your application. So an admin has all permissions, uh, a moderator has some permissions, users has a few more permissions, and so on and so forth. So you can create users that have paid users that have not paid and so on permissions you understand okay so now we have this and remember that they have ids what we basically did was for each user that is signing up we're giving the user a default id of three first so that we make sure that everybody starts with an id of three everybody's baby is a basic user then the admin or the moderator can log in and make somebody a, a moderator or admin by just adding uh, increasing their number or reducing their number you understand so by adjusting the number on the role id of each user we can uh, change the permission for the user so this is a user table this is a sample user that I signed up here if we pan to the right we'll see that this user has a role ID of one which makes him an admin if it was two he'll be a moderator and it was three if it was three he'll be a, a normal user all right so I hope you understand it now and um, it's that simple so what we're, what we're gonna do what is left for anybody is to make sure that the roles uh, you have an interface for it in your app where admin can quickly manipulate people's roles you understand and even create more and then um, that's just it so first of all let us uh, get back to what we we're doing in the past video which is trying to make sure that um, everything here works well so the final thing I'm gonna uh, create here is um, the roles table these are the links we just saw so there needs to be all roles a link that treats all roles so I'm just gonna move this to the right a little so that we can see everything cool so this link should be all roles. So admin can delete roles, edit, manipulate some roles. So what we're going to have in all projects is yes, projects index, all users is users index, users index, all tasks is tasks index. So what we're, what we're going to be doing in every part of our code to make sure that admin has a permission is to do something like this. We're just basically going to check if the user is an admin, if he's an admin, then we enable them to see some things. If not, we enable them to see other things. You understand? So we have companies, companies of course, companies roles. Then we have just ordinary roles. Roles have index. So this sorts our problem. If we get back to our, our app now and refresh, What we're gonna have is this, and if we click on projects, it should take us to the projects index. Now, when we arrive at projects index, right now, what we can do is to make sure that the admin has um, a certain level of or degree of uh, control here. Maybe admin sees some control where they can delete the project or something. So if we click on any project, this is a company, admin should be able to delete too. You understand? So uh, the way we did it is that only the user that created this can delete. So we want to also make sure that admin should be able to delete this. Maybe uh, if this is a project that is about something that is not permitted in this app, admin should be able just to click on it and delete. All right, so um, there we are. We just want to make sure that the, the icons are corresponding to what they should be. So the icons, we'll work on them right now. The icon for... Um, for companies is building the one for projects okay the one for tasks we'll just go to companies and make it a building building so this is just for the user experience uh, the one for tasks um, 
we'll, we'll make it tasks so just so tasks I'm getting them from there from here the one for user should be user is it user or person user plus user all right the one for roles we should probably figure out one for roles I'll just put something else um, uh, later on there I can just say envelope or message so for refresh admin and of course we have um, all these so well sorted out so one more thing I can do is to make sure that um, there is space in between all this I think it's okay this way so as we create more things we should have uh, admin being able to see all things for instance these roles only admin can see a role as you can see it's not here it's not um, on the menu here only admin can see it from here all right so see you in the next video where we'll continue um, making things work perfectly well now in case um, this is the first time you're joining this video what you have to obse observe is that we the user has a certain relationship with the roles so if we go to the model user model and uh, we look at the role you see that the user belongs to role, a role each user belongs to a role then each role can have many users so if we go to the role we see that each role can have many users so if you're just watching this video to see how to set up uh, a role for um, in Laravel just uh, make sure that you have these two relationships set up for you all right so thank you very much See you in the next video